So grasses basically go through various stages um, throughout their life. So we're going to talk about what these stages are and maybe how grazing can impact those stages. And being aware of those stages can also help you as a, as a land manager. So when the soil gets to a certain temperature, probably around 40 degrees, um, the plants come out of their dormant phase in the springtime. Those plants um, then take some reserves from the roots and put up their first few leaves. Um, as you can see, these grasses in this area have those leaves up and are growing, but are in the vegetative state. Now, plants um, go from the vegetative state to the next phase, which is the boot phase. Um, one thing to consider with grasses is when in the vegetative state, their growing point is located at the base of the plant. So that growing point is located down here. Now why this is important is that as, when, as the plant goes from the vegetative state to the reproductive phase, but stopping midpoint in the boot stage, and what I mean by boot stage, I should clarify, this is when the seed head is actually coming from the sheath. So you can see on this um, foxtail plant, um, that seed head is still, still coming out of the sheath, which is the boot phase. So, as I was saying, the plant goes from the, or the vegetative state to the boot phase. The growing point is then elevated. So when it gets to the boot phase, it's elevated up here and it becomes a lot more vulnerable to grazing. If that growing point is removed, um, that plant has to then take reserves from its root systems again and um, to put, promote and put up more tillers and more stems. The third phase is the reproductive phase. And this is kind of after the plant has um, gone through the system. This is when your temperatures are up. Cool season grasses, your temperatures are around 75 or above. Um, the plant is usually done doing its thing for the year and um, is in the, in the reproductive phase um, and ready to put down its seed. So our three phases that we've went over are the vegetative state, um, the plant going through the boot phase, and then into the reproductive phase. Okay, so Rachel talked about the three different stages of grasses, from vegetative to being in the boot, to a plant being mature and being in its reproductive stage. So what does this mean to us as, as grazing managers, people managing grasslands? Well, there are stages where plants are more susceptible to grazing pressure than in other stages. When a plant's in a vegetative stage, it's used carbohydrates from its root reserves to put up that initial growth. And if we come along too early and take too much of that and do that often, we can damage that plant. But probably the most sensitive stage of a plant is when they're in the boot. They're using a lot of their stored energy reserves again to elongate that seed stock in a rapid motion and put a lot of energy into those seeds uh, to, to make them be successful so that plant can reproduce. So we need to be exceptionally careful of grazing plants, especially repetitively grazing plants, when they're in that critical boot stage. Once a plant is mature, it's gone reproductive, that seed head is up blowing in the wind and it's dried out, that plant's really completed its life cycle for this year and it's not near as susceptible to grazing pressure as those plants that are either vegetative or in the boot. So if you're a grazing manager or somebody managing a grassland, be especially careful of grazing plants repetitively in that boot stage and if you have an area that's in bad shape or maybe you're trying to encourage some desirable grasses to come in, delaying that grazing till after seed set or even better, till after killing frost will encourage those plants that you want to see more of.